Time for the check on this uh, Thursday weather forecast. Said this yesterday that the fact that it hasn't been this cold since last March makes me depressed, thinking that it could potentially still be this cold when it's March again next uh, next year. Let's not go there yet. Okay, okay. Let's go to the fact that it hasn't been this cold in 286 days. That feels a little bit better, right? Let's take a look at the conditions outside right now. And we do have to go back all the way to March 8th to find a morning as cold as it is right now. Here's some of the coldest spots locally. Some single digits. Smithfield in that category. Nine degrees currently. Woonsocket has dropped another degree to 10. Somerset and Warwick both at 11. And Providence and Ashway sitting at 12 degrees. We're at 17 in Boston. New Bedford, 14 degrees. Westerly at 16. And Richmond at 12 degrees. So is Willimantic. It's not just the temperature, but the winds. If you look past the icicles this morning in North Situate and see some of the little flags here kind of whipping in the winds, the uh, ground in spots still covered with at least coating of snow from yesterday's snow squalls. And now we're back to clear skies in Newport. A wind chill. It's below zero. Winds are gusting 30 to 35 miles per hour frequently here and even stronger across a Block Island, Cape Cod. Block Island actually canceling their first two ferries of the morning. They expect to get the ferry operation back up and running at 11 o'clock. It's due to that wind advisory, the risk of freezing spray out on the water for our mariners today. Let's take a look at what the wind chills will be like throughout the daytime. 7 o'clock this morning, wind chills still below zero. Heading towards lunchtime, well, at least we get up into the positive category between 5 and 10 degrees for the wind chill in the afternoon hours. So at 3 p.m., about 10 degrees as you're waiting at the bus stop for the kids to wrap up the school day. 9 in Newport, New Bedford around 9 degrees. And at the overnight hours, the wind's going to be dying down. So the wind chill will stay above zero tonight and early tomorrow morning, at least by a few degrees. Here's our live Doppler radar. Had a snow shower come through around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, so a little fresh dusting of snow for the upper part of the bay. You'll notice that there are some slippery spots, that rapid drop in temperatures after yesterday's snow squalls, allowing for kind of slippery commute this morning. So definitely use some caution. As the morning goes on, that'll improve with the sun up. Sunny and cold at 10 a.m. around 18 degrees. Noontime temperatures at 21 in the afternoon highs. And only climbing up into the lower 20s in most spots. Pretty uniform across southern New England with uh, west-northwest winds still gusting to 30 miles per hour. About 22 at 2 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Another cold, dry night for us. Winds will be diminishing. The temperatures dropping will fall to between 10 and 15 degrees again tomorrow morning. It's all in the wake of this Arctic front that has moved through. High pressure going to build in. Is that high moves overhead. The winds die down this evening and tonight. And if you've got travel plans here, the end of the week, we're looking good across New England. Dry conditions, sunshine, and clear skies then into the overnight hours. And that's true for northern New England all the way out across New York State and Pennsylvania. No weather-related issues for Friday either. Dry right through your Friday evening commute. In fact, a seven-day forecast here with no major storms right as we look ahead towards Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So very cold next several mornings and afternoons. Temperatures at tomorrow in the upper 20s. Saturday will push that high closer to the freezing mark, so still well below normal. The normal high is low 40s. We finally get there Sunday at 43 degrees. Monday's mid 40s and Tuesday, Christmas Eve day, looking like the mildest day of our stretch. Christmas Eve night temperatures in the uh, upper 20s and lower 30s, dry and cool. For Christmas Day, we're thinking some sunshine and the temperatures seasonable in the lower 40s. It's a uh, stretch of weather here if you've got travel plans coming up. Just need to have that heat going this morning as you head out and begin your day. We'll keep you updated on the forecast. Tony's in tonight live at 5. Right now, we want to go out to Melissa once again. Hot cup of coffee. Getting the car warmed up maybe before you head out.